Bacterial cell cultures require growth media. A common medium for culturing E. coli bacteria is lysogeny broth, which is also known as Luria bertani broth, and is commonly referred to as LB broth. In this video, you will learn how to make LB agar with ampicillin and arabinose. For this activity, we will be making 100 milliliters of microbiology media using LB nutrient agar powder. The recipe calls for dissolving 17.5 grams of LB agar powder in 500 milliliters of purified water to make 1,060 millimeter agar plates. This converts to using 3.5 grams of LB agar powder for the 100 milliliters of media we wish to prepare. Using an electronic balance, we place a weigh boat on the weighing platform and zero the balance. We then add LB agar powder slowly using a clean spatula until the proper amount is reached. The LB agar powder is then added to 100 milliliters of purified water pre-measured in a reagent bottle. The powder is added slowly while constantly swirling the bottle. Swirl until no clumps are present. When finished adding the agar powder, the solution will appear cloudy since the powder is not completely dissolved. Microwave the agar on a medium setting in 30 second increments for 1 to 2 minutes until it is clear. Make certain the cap is placed loosely on the bottle to allow steam to escape. When the medium is clear, put a piece of autoclave tape on the lid of the container, ensuring that the lid is loose. Then place the container into the autoclave. After taking the media out of the autoclave, allow the media to cool to 55 degrees Celsius prior to adding ampicillin. Ampicillin is destroyed at temperatures above 60 degrees Celsius. Set your pipette for the volume of antibiotic prescribed in your lab protocol and transfer that volume to your media. Next, reset your pipette to the volume prescribed in your lab protocol and transfer the proper volume of arabinose into your media. We will be pouring our media into petri dishes. Petri dishes have a base and a lid. The lid has a slightly larger diameter and fits over the base. Labeling the plates is done in an arch along the outer edge of the base. The information that is recorded on the plate includes the type of auger LB, the type of antibiotic AMP for ampicillin, ARA for arabinose, your initials, and the date. Edge codes can also be added along the sides of the plate for easier identification of its contents, such as a black line indicating the auger is made with LB. 
a red line for indicating the auger is made with ampicillin, and a green line for arabinose. To pour a plate, turn the plate with the base on the bottom. Use aseptic technique and hold the lid of the plate to shield the base against contamination while pouring the LB auger. Add enough auger to cover about one half of the bottom of the plate, and then allow the auger to flow and cover the whole plate. Make sure the plate is about one third full. Allow the plates to dry for two days on the lab bench, then wrap them in plastic and store them upside down at 4 degrees Celsius.